you can upload offline transactions into Action Network. A few things to note before we get started. Uploads are a feature that we reserve for our partners. If you're interested in getting access to this and our other partner features, please visit actionnetwork.org partnerships. Another thing, uploaded transactions are treated like any other donation. When you target donors in reports, activists associated with an upload transaction will be included in donor targeting. Also, you cannot edit the date of an uploaded transaction. The transaction date is set to the date that the upload took place on. So to begin, we'll go to the Start Organizing menu and click Uploads. Select the list you're working from from the drop-down menu and click to add a new upload. In this pop-up, tab over to the Upload Transactions and you'll see here that we provide a sample file. I recommend looking through it and copying the format exactly. For now, I've created a sample file specifically for this tutorial. We always recommend uploading first name, last name, email address, and zip code since that automatically appears on most of our actions, but you can also add custom fields for anything else that you like. The only required fields for transaction uploads is email address and amount. The amount can be up to two decimal places, but no dollar sign or other symbols. You can also indicate if the donation is recurring, weekly, monthly, quarterly, or yearly. When your file is all set, make sure to save your file as a CSV. I'm in Excel right now, so to do that, I can just go to File, Save As, and select the file format. Now, let's go back to our Uploads page. I'll click to browse for a file. Then we'll give our upload a title. This name will show up in all of our targeting systems, so when you're targeting later for an email or a report, you can select this upload. So make sure to give it a pretty relevant name, especially if you're uploading these transactions pretty regularly. I try to have a system, something like donors, August 26, 2018. Your next step is to choose one or more tags if you'd like, or you can create a new one by clicking the plus button. On the next screen, I'm going to upload and match my fields. The columns I provided will show up here on the left and the custom fields and core fields on the right. If you followed our sample file exactly, then we automatically match some of them for you. But if your data is for a column that you don't have a pre-made field for, you can create a new custom field right here. When you're done, double check that amount and recurring are selected so that the upload is completed successfully. And when you're sure, click to finish the upload. And this brings you to a list of all of your uploads. Now let's take a look at how these uploaded transactions appear on an activist record. To go to an activist record, we'll go to the Start Organizing menu and click Activist. Select our group from the drop-down menu and search for the activist. Click to view and edit the record. And when we scroll down in the donation history section, you can see the upload right here. But please note that even if the uploaded transaction is recurring, it will not show up in the recurring donation section of the activist record. It will just be in the donation history section. Here you can see the donation amount, you can edit the amount and if it's recurring, and you can also see the upload name as well as the date that this was uploaded on. And now all of these uploaded transactions are in your database and you'll be able to target them in emails and include them in reports like any other donation. For more information on uploads or any of our other features, please visit our help documents at help.actionnetwork.org.